Crawford. That is Look out. Off. Josh Jones will take it home for Mount Union. Pass, 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 interception. That's what happens. And what a great job by Jones. First and 10, Crawford back to work with a rollout. And he is hit as he throws, incomplete. Mason McMillan, the linebacker. Second and 10. To the ground, Wilkinson, nowhere to go. McMillan is there. Ian Sexton, outside linebacker on that side, forced the issue, and they will lose a handful of yards. Third and long. Swing pass to DeAndre Parker. First down yardage, he's got the sideline. He hurdles a tackler, and they run him out of bounds at the 15. Braxton Plunk on the roll, the throw to the goal line. It is caught. Is he in bounds? Yes, he is. That's a touchdown. Terrell Sanders, the senior from Indianapolis, his second touchdown of the year, and Mount Union quickly striking on their first drive. Boy, Plunk put that one on a rope. He will throw. That's intercepted again. This is Janssen's six more for Mount Union. I'm not sure what he saw there, but uh, Janssen's did. And he took it in for another pick six. Brandon Jansen's first interception of the season yields six more Mount Union points. For eight yards. Second down, well, escapes. Wide open is Wayne Ruby. I don't know how he gets that open. He's in the end zone for the third time this season. And I mean, wide open doesn't describe it. Yeah, you know, again, he, he just made a move. And I think there was confusion in the secondary and it left him wide open and the Plunk Ruby tandem continues. Crawford digs out a low snap to the ground. Wilkinson is stuffed as soon as he catches the ball by Rossi Moore. Crawford back to work. Here comes the blitz and down he goes. Caleb Brown got him. Back to their own 30 yard line at Crawford. Nowhere to go because Vaughn Factor broke three from the other side. The junior from Rumson, New Jersey, earns another sack, his second of the year. It's in the first half. The Pioneers shut him out. Ball play, Echeverry. First down and more. Tyler Echeverry dragged down from behind the 15 yard line. The last man who could possibly prevent the touchdown did for Muskingum. They hand off to Echeverry again. He spins into the second level, inside the 10, inside the 5, and first and goal around the 3. Braxton Plunk, give him one more crack at it. He fumbles the ball in the end zone, picks it up. Six more for Mount Union. Crawford. Against all in the pocket, Ooh. and it collapses on him. Penalty markers, the ball is loose. And a lot to unpile here. Hate the rhythm. They're coming right to the line of scrimmage. Parker again. No, it's Plunk. He held on to the ball, went in the end zone. Picked everybody out. Yeah, he doesn't do that very often, does he? Got me that time, Braxton. Touchdown Plunk. His first rushing score of the year. 41 0. There's a lot of incredible streaks, but that one not come out. Remember the two hopper that gets through Goodman. He got a mess on his hands and will go out of bounds inside the five yard line, I believe. Yeah, he did. Wilkinson. He just got back to the line of scrimmage, if that. Hit as he throws, it is incomplete, and Crawford really took a shot. I really think it might have been Caleb Brown who got loose again. Third and 21 for Mount Union. Plunk fakes and throws on the sideline. They've got a catch, and they may have a first down in the hands of Turner, who cracks the 20 yard line. First and 10 at the 19. Look at him now, and you wonder. Plunk's got time, swings it out for Parker, who's got room, who's got the 10, and scoots out of bounds at about the five yard line with nine seconds left. This will be 22 yards. Plenty of air under that one, and three more for Mount Union. Plunk under center, we've seen him do that a couple of times. 
is Ray Williams. He's on the loose and down the sideline with one man to beat. He spins by him. This is a fantastic effort. And Mount Union first down as he comes to earth around the 25-yard line of Muskegon. Let me hit you very again. A jump cut and a touchdown is second of the day and then pushes it out to an even larger Mount Union lead at 53 nothing. Shields gives to Williams. He's into the second level and into Muskingum territory with another Mount Union first down. There's a swing pass to Williams. It's a block. He's got the first down. And he's out of bounds on the sideline and clobbers a Mount Union coach along the way. Shields gives to Rogers, starts left, cuts it back right. He's in the open and just got caught from behind. Franklin, the punter, tees it up. Declan Cameron remains perfect. He is a miss. Williams again with a cutback and a first Whoa. down, and he's on the gallop, and he might be gone. One man left to catch him, and you could forget it. Touchdown, Mount Union. Darnell Williams, his second score of the season. Union with another flashy play. This is Malcolm Rogers. We are this is a away start, yeah. the third one. If he makes this one, we use the element of surprise and won a regular season game here at Matt Union. You know, at that time, Matt Union Stadium. Here's another pick by the Purple Raiders. That's Ricky Bugs who returns it inside the 10 yard line. He didn't spot it properly. So make this a 27-yard try for Tawaya. That snap, Franklin will try to throw it in the end zone, and guess what? <laughs> it rains at four. <laughs> oh my. Drew Sims, the tight end, with a presence of mind to go run into the end zone. And the senior from Fort Wayne has himself a touchdown. The defense, of course, scoring uh, two touchdowns. Oh, There's a fine defensive play. And then there was uh, Keenan Cruz from Lutz, Florida. Well, the home opener is a smashing success for Mount Union. Scored a lot of ways defensively. Around in the air. It's up to a 74-7 victory.